Hey guys, what's up? Oral Sands1997 here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install mods on Minecraft. Now I know this is a very simple thing for many, however, a lot of people don't know how to do this. So this is gonna be the easy way to show you guys what you need to do. So um, today I'm gonna be showing you with the example of too many items using as what we're gonna be installing. And what you want to do is make sure that you read all the directions first. I mean, I know it sounds like, oh, yeah, read all the directions. But seriously, because sometimes they'll say you need a thing called mod loader, audio mod, or you need other things with it. Or it'll say what it's not compatible with, so you need to know these things. Um, but first of all, we're going to want to try to get WinRAR. So if you get WinRAR, uh, I guess we can go to this one. I have 32, I have 64 bit, but just for example's sake, I'll download this. I prefer WinRAR because it is, I feel it's better than 7-Zip, but that's just personal preference. So you're just going to click download. There will be links in the description to download these things. Um, and you'll see here, all you want to do is click it, run it, and you will have WinRAR. Just follow the install instructions, and you're all set. Then what you're going to want to do is find a mod that you like. Again, read the directions because you might need other prerequisites or things before you can install it. Then you're going to want to click download wherever the link is. You're probably going to get an ad fly. I'm sorry, but that's mostly what happens. Uh, unfortunately, because they do get a lot of clicks and it is nice money. I can understand now being in the YouTube part. but Alright, so now if you want to install a mod, you're going to want to access your Minecraft folder. So you're going to want to hit start menu, type in run, and enter. This will bring up this little box. And you're going to want to type in percent app data percent. And you can just hit enter and it will bring this up. The very first thing you'll find is dot minecraft. You just double click on that. And then the very first thing again, bin. Double click bin. Now you'll see um, possibly many different types of minecraft folders. But by default, what you're going to want to do is just go to minecraft. Right click on minecraft. Go to open with. And WinRAR Archiver. Now you should be able to see a bunch of things in here. So again, if in case I went too fast, I'll just show you guys again. After I hit Run, Enter, Percent App Data Percent, Enter, and it brings me to this. So you double click dot Minecraft, double click bin, and then you have these three folders. And again, disregard these. Doesn't matter what is in these. You don't need to edit these. You want main Minecraft, not dot whatever. Just the one that says Minecraft. Right click, open with, and WinRAR. So it'll bring this up, and this is what we have. Now, if you have a mod, you can just open it. Um, for me, it's Google Chrome, so it's right here. But you can just find it in your download section um, if you're downloaded or whatever it is. And you can just click on it. You don't even need to drag it or anything. Just click on it so it opens up. Okay, yeah, probably the thing that says WinRAR is not free, blah, blah, blah. Alright, and this is what you should see. You should see your Minecraft jar right here, and whatever your mod is, and all the files. What you're going to want to do is highlight all of these. Just click in one of the white, in the white space, and drag over everything. You can just click and drag this right in. Hit OK, and it will do this. Now you want to find the folder meta-inf, hit delete yes and you're all set now when you're installing future mods it's the same way you just drag everything in um, you know, I'm gonna cancel as we already did and there won't be a meta in folder in the future and um, because we already deleted it but that's fine now that is a basic tutorial plus for a basic mod but for other mods there will be other things it's just the same way if there's more things you need you just drag it right in and you close it. There's no way to save it or anything. It just automatically saves it. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, and actually, I'll show you real quick that it does work. I'll log in real quick. Uh, Mojang, okay, single player. Okay. And for that particular mod, you hit E. And there you go. Um, in case you don't see anything, you would hit O. But... Um, that's how it works. So hopefully that helped you guys again, like I said, and, um, I'll see you guys later.